Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we're diving into the world of modern warships, two giants of Asia's seas, but with completely different roles and philosophies. On one side, we have the Philippines BRP Antonio Luna FF-151, a frigate built for agility, speed, and regional defense. On the other side, standing tall as one of the most advanced surface combatants in the world, is China's Type 055 destroyer, the Nanchang DDG-101. These ships are more than steel and missiles, they represent the very heart of their nation's naval strategies. And when we compare them, we don't just see size and firepower, we see the contrast between defending your backyard and projecting power across oceans. So, stay with me until the end, because this comparison might just surprise you. Philippines BRP Antonio Luna FF-151 is the pride of the Philippine Navy. Commissioned in 2021, this frigate is part of the Jose Rizal class, designed in South Korea but tailored for Philippine waters. At first glance, Antonio Luna is modest in size. It displaces just under 3,000 tons, measures about 107 meters in length, and carries a crew of around 65. That's small compared to global destroyers, but don't be fooled, this ship packs more than enough to keep an eye on the country's massive exclusive economic zone, protect its islands, and respond quickly to regional challenges. Its propulsion system is powered by four diesel engines, giving it a top speed of around 25 knots. It may not outrun a missile, but in the tight and shallow waters of the archipelago, speed combined with maneuverability is all that matters. For the Philippines, this frigate isn't about dominating the oceans, it's about being present, ready, and reliable. China Type 055 Nanchong DDG-101 is a different story altogether. Commissioned in 2020, it's often described as the crown jewel of the People's Liberation Army Navy. At over 11,000 tons and stretching 180 meters long, Nanchang dwarfs most destroyers in the world. Its sheer size allows it to carry an arsenal that smaller ships can't even dream of. Four gas turbines propel it to speeds of more than 30 knots, and with a range of around 5,000 nautical miles, this ship can leave Chinese waters and operate far into the Indian Ocean or the Pacific without needing to return. With a crew of nearly 350 sailors, the Type 055 is not just a warship, it's a floating fortress and command center. Philippines BRP Antonio Luna FF-151 carries a weapons package tailored to the country's needs. On the bow sits a 76mm Oto Malara naval gun, a rapid-firing weapon capable of engaging surface, aerial, and even land targets. Supporting it is a 30mm Aselsan cannon and heavy machine guns for close encounters. But the true teeth of Antonio Luna come from its missile systems. It's equipped with Sea Star surface-to-surface -surface missiles, South Korean in origin, with enough range and accuracy to deter or even strike larger ships if necessary. For underwater threats, it has triple torpedo launchers capable of firing Blue Shark lightweight torpedoes, perfect for hunting submarines in coastal waters. And with a helicopter deck supporting the A-159 Wildcat, the frigate extends its eyes and ears into the sky and the deep sea. Air defense is still limited, but the integration of Mistral 3 surface-to-air missiles adds a critical layer of protection. The philosophy here is clear, smaller, focused systems, but efficient enough to keep the Philippines secure in its own waters. China Type 055 Nanchong DDG-101, by contrast, is built for overwhelming firepower. On its deck sits a 130mm naval gun, larger than most standard frigate guns, capable of bombarding coastal targets or engaging enemy ships. But the real power lies below the deck, 112 vertical launch system. Cells these cells can carry a mix of weapons, long-range surface-to-air missiles like the HQ-9, close-range missiles like the HQ-10, powerful anti-ship cruise missiles like the YJ-18, and even land-attack cruise missiles for striking targets hundreds of kilometers inland. For close defense, it has the Type 1130 CIWS, a rapid-fire gun system that can spit out over 10,000 rounds per minute to shoot down incoming missiles. On the anti-submarine side, the Type 055 features a combination of hull-mounted sonar, towed arrays, rocket-assisted torpedoes, and the ability to deploy helicopters. This destroyer is designed to fight in every domain, air, surface, and undersea, making it one of the most capable ships afloat today. 
Philippines BRP Antonio Luna FF-151 uses modern but compact technology. Its radar and sensor suites allow it to detect and track targets within its operational range, and its combat management system gives the crew the ability to respond quickly to any threat. In joint exercises like RIMPAC 2022, the ship proved it could work seamlessly with Allied navies, coordinating firepower and communication under real-world conditions. These exercises highlighted something crucial. Even if Antonio Luna doesn't have the biggest guns or longest-range missiles, when linked with Allied ships, aircraft, and satellite networks, it becomes a critical part of a much larger shield. China Type 055 Nanchong DDG-101 pushes technology to another level. With advanced AESA radars operating in multiple frequency bands, the ship can track stealth aircraft, incoming missiles, and distant surface targets at the same time. It's essentially a moving radar station. Connected with China's satellites, drones, and airborne early warning planes, Nanchang can operate as the nerve center of a task force, feeding data to other ships and coordinating attacks across vast distances. Its electronic warfare systems are designed to jam enemy radars, confuse incoming missiles, and protect the fleet in high-intensity combat. This ship is built for tomorrow's wars, high-tech, high-speed, and far-reaching. Philippines BRP Antonio Luna FF-151 represents the strategy of a nation that prioritizes defending its maritime borders. The Philippines faces challenges like illegal fishing, territorial disputes, smuggling, and disaster response. For these tasks, Antonio Luna is more than enough. It's fast, efficient, and cost-effective. Most importantly, it shows the flag in disputed waters, reminding both friends and rivals that the Philippines is present and watching. When combined with alliances, training, and joint exercises, a frigate like Antonio Luna becomes a key tool of national security. China Type 055 Nanchong DDG-101 represents something much bigger, global ambition. This destroyer is not only about defending China's coastline, it's about escorting aircraft carriers into the deep ocean, patrolling far from home, and signaling to the world that China's navy can operate anywhere. In carrier strike groups, the Type 055 serves as the shield, protecting high-value ships with its advanced air defense and radar systems. Alone, it can project power by launching long-range missiles against enemy ships, aircraft, or land targets. For China, this ship is about presence, deterrence, and influence. When we compare the two, the contrast is striking. One is small, agile, and designed for regional defense. The other is massive, powerful, and built for global reach. But here's the twist. Both ships make perfect sense for the countries that own them. The Philippines doesn't need a 13,000-ton destroyer. It needs ships that can patrol its waters, defend its islands, and work with allies. On the other hand, China's ambitions go far beyond its immediate neighborhood, so it needs warships like the Type 055 to safeguard trade routes, carriers, and overseas interests. Can smaller navies secure their waters with ships like Antonio Luna? Absolutely. History shows us that speed, agility, and smart use of alliances can level the playing field. A single frigate might not match a destroyer in raw firepower, but in coastal environments, with submarines, aircraft, and land-based defenses backing it up, it becomes a deadly challenge. Massive destroyers dominate in open waters and long-range missions, but smaller ships dominate in complex littoral zones. In the end, the story of these two ships isn't about which one is better. It's about how each navy sees itself and what role it plays in the world. The Philippines BRP Antonio Luna FF-151 is a guardian of the homeland, an agile defender in a sea of islands. The China Type 055 Nanchong DDG-101 is a symbol of rising global power, designed to sail far, fight hard, and stand as a message to rivals and allies alike. So the next time you see these ships compared, remember, they're not built for the same mission. One is about protecting a nation's front yard. The other is about projecting strength into someone else's backyard. And that contrast tells us everything we need to know about naval power in Asia today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into modern warships, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more military and